The show is called Catfish and Company. That right there is Catfish, and the company he keeps is Lori. Company, and there's a cat show. And though they're talking about cats on this morning, Catfish is no fan of cats. We tried to keep Catfish in line. He's not a big, he loves his fish and his dogs. He's only got cat, cat, cat. <laughs> he loves his fish and he loves his dogs, but we won't talk about cats. The catfish is from Texas. He won't tell us his last name. He's been doing country music now for 18 of his 38 years in radio. He's heard the music change over the years, but one thing hasn't changed about country. The sound is different, but mo for the most part, the, scene, the themes are the same. We're talking, you know, feelings. Trace Adkins says that country music is about pain and sex. That's life. Catfish credits <laughs> Garth Brooks for country's rebirth. But as for Shania Twain, Catfish thinks she used country as a springboard. Her husband is a rock and roll producer. And I think their game plan all along was it was easier for a hot, young, attractive talent to get exposure in country, but the game plan is to go pop eventually. This is Lori's first time working for a country station. She says she and Catfish get along because they have two big things in common. Probably the most important thing is that off the air, that, you can, that we actually have something in common off the air, that we both um, are very family oriented, we both um, in, enjoy radio. You can interview people for the rest of your life and, until you get in the control room and actually try to, to do a show. You never know how it's going to work. When Fish and I met, we, uh, we had an interview and we talked and it just, we seemed to get along okay and we've been together since October and we haven't hurt each other, which I think is a good thing. <laughs> Violence does not know. Actually, we're getting along fine. It's great. It's great and their listeners agree. <laughs> That's called the FCCA.